Hi, I'm Mikey Sklar at Holy Scrap Hot Springs. And Holy Scrap Hot Springs is a blog that my girlfriend and I author. We live off grid and we write about our homesteading adventures. And our most recent adventure is into the world of refrigeration. So today I'm gonna to talk about our old refrigerator and the unit we switched to, which is basically a chest freezer that we've converted to make a refrigerator out of. And let's start with this old refrigerator. Um, if we go back a few months this summer, it just died on us. Our food was going bad and the compressor was failing and I was so angry at the cost it was going to be for us to replace it that I decided to make a widget and switch us over to the chest freezer world where we could use that as a refrigerator. Let me tell you a few things we've learned about refrigerators. One, you open the door and all of your air comes out of an upright. Same down here. The other is, this is huge. This is like almost 20 cubic feet. This is a crazy amount of refrigeration for a two person home. So we didn't need all of this refrigeration space. And finally, this is an Energy Star unit, which means you pay a lot extra, but the efficiency really is disappointing. Um, this is still, you can do so much better on your own with a converted chest freezer as a refrigerator than using this. What's remarkable about the upright refrigerator is there's over 200 million of these in the U.S. alone. And everyone who's got one is paying over $100 a year. And if you were to switch over to a chest freezer, which is smaller, you'd be paying something more like $12 a year in utilities. So this is our new refrigerator. And what's great is it's cheap. We paid $50 for this unit at a yard sale. You can buy it for $200 new. It's small, it's about five cubic feet, a third of what our old refrigerator is. It is efficient, one, because it's got a really small uh, motor in it. Uh, and finally, you can open the lid and the cold air stays in. Let me show you how easy it is to fit into such a small refrigerator. One is most of the things we had in our refrigerator didn't need to be there. So we learned which items actually need to be refrigerated by reading the label or not putting them in until they're actually open and need refrigeration. The other is using the space efficiently. So we have little plastic containers that we put all of our goods in, whether it's cheese or meat or vegetables, and that makes the fridge much more accessible so it's not just a pile of crap. Converting a chest freezer into a refrigerator is easy. First, I hung a temperature controller on the wall with these two screws. There are four cords that need to be plugged in. The first cord is the power cord from the freezer itself. The next cord plugs into the wall outlet. This cord powers the circuit, and this is a temperature sensor that is inside the chest freezer and measures the temperature inside the freezer. The temperature is easily set. Refrigerators normally run at 35 degrees, but can be changed with these two up and down buttons. Pressing both buttons simultaneously saves the temperature. When our refrigerator died, I just started to realize the magnitude of the problem of how many refrigerators are out there, how much energy they use. And as I built the temperature, temperature controller and went through a few months of experience with the chest freezer, I realized just how efficient this is. So the design is open, the kit is available, the hardware can be purchased, assembled. You know, you don't have an excuse now. Go get your chest freezer and get a temp controller and let's start saving some energy.